everybody assalamu alaikum and very glad to meet you on this live uh, tonight and uh, the topic will be amazing and will be also so exciting the topic is about why are people now getting sick and why there are a lot of uh, diseases and conditions now are being emerged more and more and why uh, the diseases the number and the conditions now are uh, are, getting, are running up uh, in uh, in in all the countries around the world why and uh, uh, to the, this question uh, I, I will try to answer to this question that because if you can really note a lot of idea and some explanations about yourself about your life about your health uh, the first point we will discuss in this uh, in this slide is that first uh, i have to give uh, uh, an idea a clear idea about the diseases so let us go back to the last century after the war the world war ii and there was only some infectious diseases the first group of diseases there are a lot of them but there was only uh, infectious diseases diseases due to some viruses to some bacteria molds or some parasites and so on like malaria like cholera like dysenteria diphtheria typhoid so tuberculosis and so anyway even some other diseases due to e coli and some food poisoning and so on uh, this group of diseases was only the only one there was so some sporadic diseases but the number was very low of diabetes and for cancer and also for the heart diseases and so on like allergy or asthma and so but after this group so when the scientific progress it started after the war the world war ii the the scientific progress has started in two fields in the field of food science and in the field of drugs and medicines and uh, th these two fields are uh, directly related to your health you know and so uh, so uh, uh, the, the change of the lifestyle and the change of food of the nature of food also so uh, is the main cause of these diseases there are many causes sure that like those not only not only the uh, things that we eat and we drink and we breathe the pollution of the air and so on but also the stress and you know that there are many other conditions that can be added to this uh, many, many causes that to be added to these causes that to give these conditions and these diseases so the first group was one lead of infectious diseases due to bacteria viruses parasites and some living materials and these diseases were cured, were healed, and were reversed by some antibiotics. So, uh, in a short period, one week or two weeks, and then that, except except for tuberculosis, it for, was for six months. And then after these diseases, so with the scientific progress, you know, with the change of the lifestyle, the change of the food, the change of the nature of food, and also to some other. Uh, uh, some other causes like some the use of medicines and drugs and uh, chemical uh, industry and uh, the food processing you know that chemicals compounds a lot of them and the use of pesticides and the use of fertilizers for the for growing the crops and also the use of other hormones and antibiotics for growing the animals and, and so on so the uh, when we changed the one little lifestyle, we changed one little amount of food and the nature of food, uh, and we shifted from the veggies, from the vegetable, from the veget not vegetarian, not really. So the diet was characterized by more veggies and a small amount of meat. When we shifted to meat, too much meat and less fibers, less antioxidants, which may exist in legumes, in uh, veggies, in vegetables, and also in fruits and all the vegetal sourced materials. That's when we shifted to meats and to dairy products and to white bread and so on. So the second group of diseases appeared in the period of 1970s or so. It was the heart diseases, the blood vessels and heart diseases, cardiovascular. So hypertension, diabetes, and triglycerides, glycerol, and a lot of problems like arteriosclerosis, and a lot of problems related to the heart and blood vessels. This was the second group of diseases, and after this group, that when we change it more and more, because that the food is being now processed, and to fast food, the junk food, the fried food, the canned food, and the use of food additives, and the use of some 
packaging material like the aluminium and also plastic. So the pollution of water and also the use of some cosmetics and use of medicines and drugs and so on. So the third group was the cancer, the infectious diseases first. Second, cardiovascular diseases, heart and blood vessel diseases. Third group, cancer, all kinds of cancers. So uh, the first one was the breast cancer and ovary cancer, uterus cancer, stomach cancer, colon cancer, so all of them, bone cancers, brain cancer, blood cancer. And so um, blood, now, uh, now the cancer, the, the uh, leukemia, anemia, and also Meloma now, are, are the, 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 the percentage now is running up in, 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 in youth, so in, in children and in youth people. And so, and after, uh, we get in more, we get in more and more change, you know, that with the, the chemicals, the use of too much chemicals like the food additives, and uh, we use it to consume, to consume and to eat more canned food and more fast food, more junk food, and 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 some uh, materials which are not nutrients, which are not food, some chemical compounds which are not food, and we call it them the light and the light or the zero calorie, like olestra, like aspartame, like uh, many many sweeteners and olestra and many other kinds of these chemical compounds. We use it. We substituted the natural fats by olestra and we substituted some carbohydrates and sugars, natural sugars, by these sweeteners in many kinds of foods, in many kind of food and in many types of foods, and they are more and more consumed by the youth and population between 30, the age of 20 and 30, the youth. Uh, so uh, the change and the use also uh, of uh, too much hormones by the ladies, like the pies, the the birth, birth, the birth control, the birth control pills, the pills, and the, these these hormones for the contraception, and they were also used. And you know that the ladies, the first cancer, the first percentage of the house higher in 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 the world, around the world, is the breast cancer. The one, the one number one is the the, the breast cancer that because it's a hormonal uh, cancer. And then now, the last, uh, it's our time now, we are now getting other type of diseases, which are the autoimmune diseases. So these uh, four groups, not the fourth one, not the last one, autoimmune diseases now are due to chemical compounds and the chemical and synthetic compounds, which we are now consuming and eating much too much. So, and this is uh, just to have an idea and to go back to the history for we can understand easily why we are now getting sick and why there are many diseases who are now emerging and they are increasing and the number is running up. So, and these autoimmune diseases are due to chemicals. That let us go now to the nature and to the kind of food. So healthy food means, healthy food means uh, natural and home cooked food. And the, so other processed food or artificial or synthetic food means chemicals and compounds which may not exist in the nature. Like the sweeteners, spartan doesn't exist in the nature. Olestra doesn't exist in the nature, it's, it's artificial, it's synthetic. And these compounds, you know that our body had have been built but uh, uh, on many uh, principles that show you now that your body is functioning because of three systems. The first one is the immune, uh, the immune system. Your, your body um, should have uh, protection, you know, so, something uh, that can use for fighting and for facing all the, the, the hard situation like diseases and like all invaders, biological invaders like viruses, bacteria and so on. And you have an immune system and you have also an enzymatic, enzymatic system, and you have also a hormonal system, three system in your body. The hormonal, the enzymatic, the enzymes, and also, you know, the uh, immune system. And these three are working together, and they are get, getting more and more complicated that we can explain this in 10 minutes. <laughs> yes, only one system that may require more too much time and more days and days that to explain that the function, the normal function of any system. So your body can recognize. I hope that you will. I hope that you will really retain this, and so you can, if you can note it on a paper, your body can recognize. You know, can recognize 
and have a reception, have some receptors for all the natural food, for all the natural uh, compounds you can get from the nature, like carbohydrates, like proteins, like fibers, antioxidants, vitamins, and so minerals, and uh, also phytosterol, phytoestrogen, the omega-3, the prebiotics, and so on. A lot of natural things that natural materials that you can consume and you can eat, that your body can recognize them and can also identify the identification. It can recognize and identify these compounds, these materials. But when you, when you eat some uh, meat, uh, for instance, for example, you eat your meat, that your, uh, your body is equipped with some protease, some enzymes which can hydrolyze uh, the proteins can split the protein, open the molecule of the protein, and in the stomach, in the stomach you have a strong protease which may act at pH 2, it's a chemo chemotrypsin. And then that stage peptides and the peptides will be hydrolyzed or digested in the small intestine by the calpine catepsin, another system of enzymes. We call it the CAS, the CAS factors. Calcium activated sarcoplasmic factors, which are um, it's, uh, so uh, many enzymes that may interact and may so uh, do this work that to split the peptides in amino acids and your body will absorb the amino acids to build the structures and to make the antibodies and to make also the immunes and, and, uh, and a lot of uh, proteic molecules like the enzymes also. So, and when you eat a sugar, that is uh, like starch, you can take starch, why not? Starch is a polymer of glucose and the digestion or the, your body can recognize the starch in your mouth. You have an amylase enzyme in amylase in your mouth. It can split the starch in maltose or glucose and then if it cannot be split, the, the time is not so sufficient for splitting the starch in your mouth, it will be completed in your small intestine because there is an amylase also secreted by your pancreas and which may act also in the small intestine on the remaining amount of starch which not, has not been split or hydrolyzed in your mouth. And so your body, you know, this is the normal function in your body when you eat something from the nature that your body can recognize and is equipped by some enzymes which can hydrolyze these, these things and then your body can live normally and the hormonal system is balanced, the enzymatic system is working, is, is functioning in the right way and also the, the immune system, the immune system is built by these two systems, the hormonal and also the enzymatic systems. And that your, your body is needing some nutrients, it's our proteins, carbohydrates and fat, lipids, and these three, we are hydrolyzed, are digested in your body, they are metabolized to get some small amounts and small units which your body can use for energy and for the structures. You know that uh, the molecule of glucose uh, might require 10 enzymes for the md mayor of Parnas pathway, the glucose, there is a pathway uh, called md mayor of Parnas, that the glucose go from the glucose and the phosphorylation until they get in the purific acid, is transformed in purific acid, a three carbon molecule. And then the purific acid may go to the Krebs cycle, and the Krebs cycle, the acetyl, the acetyl-CoA enzyme, and then 10 other enzymes. You need 20 enzymes just for metabolizing one molecule of the glucose. You know, and proteins and fat, and so the fat are split, and the fat are uh, material, the fatty materials or the lipids are split in the small intestine by the lipase, the lipase secreted by the pancreas, and then uh, throw off your diodenome and turn it into small intestine, so the reactions, it's emulsified by the bile, uh, from, from the gallbladder, it's emulsified by the bile, and then uh, emulsification for to make easy in the reaction. The reaction cannot occur, you know, that it's not, it's not soluble. You know, the fatty matter is not soluble in water and the chemical reaction cannot occur, but it should be emulsified. And then that the biochemical reactions can take place, can, can occur in your small intestine. So this is the normal functioning of your body. If you eat natural and healthy food, is the food is cooked at low temperature in your house, you prepare, prepare your meals yourself by using some uh, uh, safe um, fatty matter like olive oil or any other oil, but it should not be refined, it should be obtained by um, pressure. 
and it should be extracted by a cold method, we call it the cold method, the physical method, by pressurizing only these materials, if we can get the coconut oil or any other. But when using the refined oil, your, your food is not natural. Your food is not healthy. When you cook with the refined oils or the hydrogenated oil, that your food is polluted. You know that because you are getting some uh, trans fats and uh, fatty acids, the trans fatty acids and trans fatty acids now, you know that now are involving, uh, getting, uh, now are involved in many diseases, in, in the autoimmune diseases like the multiple sclerosis. And you should only, even, even this food, when it's natural, that it should not be cooked or prepared by some other refined or processed materials. You should not use the sugar, no refined oils, no colorants, no nothing. That should, uh, your food should, healthy food is natural and homemade and home cooked in some earthware or some stainless steel materials or copper materials or any, any, any safe materials or for cooking, not using aluminium or some um, materials made from Teflon. So, and you should pay attention to all these things that because that you should avoid all chemical compounds that your body cannot recognize and so there is a distraction inside the body. Now when you eat or when you consume an artificial or a chemical compounds, some, uh, you know, chemical materials like aspartame, some sweeteners like aspartame, aspartame is a sweet molecule but it's not sugar. Aspartame is made of two amino acids, aspartic acid, and it's linked to the phenylalanine and two amino acids. Aspartame molecule and the molecule is made of two amino acids. It's not sugar. It's not a sugar. It's a chemical sweetener. And it doesn't exist in the nature. You know that your body cannot recognize this molecule and inside that it can go and it, it's not metabolized. And it's for this reason that some searchers that call zero calorie, all calorie or, die or light, that because it cannot be digested. Zero calorie, that because your, your, your body cannot metabolize it. This is the explanation why uh, light and why zero calorie or all calorie. Like olestra also. And when you consume the aspartame, your body cannot recognize it and it cannot digest it. So it may destroy and it may disturb, you know, the physiology and the digestion of your body. And it's called anti-nutrients. Anti-nutrients, but because there is a blockage, you know, a blockage and it may delay or stop the absorption of other materials or also, you know, the occurrence of the digestion, the normal digestion and the normal reactions inside your your bowel and your small intestine. Your bowel is the absorption, but the reactions may occur in the small intestine. All the enzymes may act in the small intestine. And this, this you should understand why this thing that when we change the lifestyle, we change the nature of our food, and now we don't know what we are eating. Is it natural or artificial? That people should pay attention and they should be cautious about these things. Sure, they should be cautious and you should... You know, you should, should be, you should pay attention about, about these, these, these materials. And the, the aspartame can be split chemically. It can be, you know, the composition can be, the, and uh, it can give the methanol, and the methanol is very dangerous for the myelin in your, uh, in your neurons, in your brain cells. And this, this, this may solubilize the myelin and you will get many diseases, which we call them the degenerative diseases because the, the, your brain or the nervous system, like multiple sclerosis, like Alzheimer, like Parkinson, and a lot of them. And so uh, many other materials are used for the flavor, like the monosodium glutamate, MSG, the monosodium glutamate may not exist in the nature. Now that it's a chemical compound, a synthetic compound, it's used at a high concentration in many foods. And because of the taste, uh, salty and uh, nice taste and flavor, for, for the food, and then the MSG also is uh, also involved in some uh, uh, neurological problems and, uh, in, in, and diseases. Like olestra, olestra is a synthetic fat, is, a, is, is an artificial fat, it's not natural, it doesn't exist in the nature. But because the natural lipids are triglycerides, triglycerides, that glycerol, three carbons, and uh, 
and the three carbons and the three fatty acids are linked to the, this, uh, this uh, molecule of, of glycerol, three fatty acids, and we call it triglyceride. And uh, your body can recognize the triglycerides, they can metabolize it by the lipase, two types of lipase, lipase one and lipase two, no problem. But the olistra is a molecule, you know, that it's a sugar, a disaccharide, and we add six, not only three, but six fatty acids. The molecule is six fatty acids, and this molecule is not absorbed, is not digested, is not split, is not metabolized, and your body cannot recognize it. But it may go out, it will be thrown about, you know, before it will thrown out, it will destroy some uh, beta cells of your, of your bowel and many, many problems in your bowel. That is uh, the, the difference between the natural and between healthy food, natural and homemade, and also not only the difference, but also the balance inside this healthy food. Balance, but what does it mean? The balance that you should eat a complete balanced food. What does it mean? That there are many groups of food that you should not neglect or ignore any, uh, any, any material of these groups. The first group is cereals. The second group are legumes. Cereals are barley, wheat, rice, so the mealy and so the canary seeds and so quinoa and so. The first group are cereals. The second group legumes or beans, like fava beans, chickpeas, lentils, soya beans and peas and so. And the third group vegetables, all veggies with the green leaves and so. And vegetables. Huh? And the third, the fourth group is fruits, dried fruits and fresh fruits dried fruits like dates, figs, raisins, and also nuts, almond and nuts, and also some. The peanuts or the ground nuts are classified with uh, legumes, uh, with beans. And also there is a group of seeds, uh, sesame and flax seed and black cumin and cumin also, and fenugreek and cress and so, uh, grain, and, uh, so uh, coriander grains and so. This is a, this is a special group and a very, a very, a very important group because if the source of phytosterols and phytoestrogen, and you should not ignore it, you should not neglect it. And the group of spices, like turmeric and ginger, like cinnamon, cloves, and nutmeg, and so many, many, many of them, these spices, spices are used for the flavor, flavoring, for the taste of the, of the food, and also the herbs and medicinal plants that we can drink as a drink like tea, like moringa, like so, uh, hibiscus, and so sage, and oregano, thyme, and a lot of them that also they may bring out a lot of chemical compounds which called antioxidants and very, very, uh, they are very helpful for your, for, for your body. And the, the group of meats, the group of meats, all kinds of meats, poultry and animals, the group and also eggs, eggs are classified with meats, and the group of fish and shellfish. Fish is not classified with meats. There is no, uh, there is no link, no relationship between fish and 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 uh, and other uh, other kind of meats, and also milk and dairy products and some fats like olive oil and uh, all uh, all fatty materials. But should they should, but uh, should they, they should not be refined. They should not be so uh, processed. You know, olive oil and uh, coconut oil and so in Morocco we have the argan oil and so so on. These groups of foods that you should not ignore any uh, components and any uh, thing from these groups. You should have a complete, and this is balanced diet is a complete diet. And you should you consume and you should eat at least one or two of each group. For the vegetables, you can eat 10 or 15. For the fruits, you can eat what you want to eat. And so, and also these artificial food that you should separate them, you should understand the difference between the natural food and the artificial and synthetic food. Synthetic food is not food, it's, it's chemicals, chemical materials which your body cannot use, cannot metabolize, cannot uh, recognize. And they are called uh, so like the food additives. The additives are chemicals compound. They are chemicals, they are not food, They're food additives. They should be called chemical additives, not food additives. And also uh, these, these things, you know, when we started, when we shifted to meat, uh, too much meat and dairy products with white bread, and we, so we ignored or neglected at least you know, fruits and vegetables and veggies, that the, the heart diseases appear. And, uh, and 
and the number was, was, was higher. 50% of the people who died in the Occident are from the problem of cardiovascular, problem of heart diseases. And these autoimmune diseases, why we are getting now autoimmune diseases? What does it mean, autoimmune diseases? That your body, that because we are cheating with our bodies, we are cheating, we are lying to our body. Cheating with the body that we are not giving the body the natural uh, things that uh, that can recognize them, that uh, the body can recognize it, 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 this ethnic. But we are giving to our body, we are giving some chemical materials which cannot be metabolized and your body is getting disturbed, we get sick. This is the problem, this is the main problem, this is the answer to the question why people now are getting more and more sick, are getting many conditions. And so these chemicals, you know, uh, so with uh, more food additives, more pesticides, more materials, chemical materials like, like the packaging materials, aluminium, plastic, and so on, and all the chemicals in water, come. so pollution of water by some heavy metals and some uh, like the sulfides and nitrates and, and so and uh, these chemicals now are getting in a high concentration and they are getting too much. Too much, you know, in the in amounts and in nature. We have a long list of these materials and you have also a, a high concentration of these, of these materials. And then that the autoimmune uh, disease is that because we are cheating with our body, so our body is uh, programmed, is organized uh, to make antibodies in the case uh, we, he gets an invader, biological invader, like virus, or bacteria, or molds, or parasites, and so on. But uh, you know that our cells now inside the body are now secreting autoantibodies. Our cells now are mistaking the secretion. And this mistake is due that to the, to the program inside your body, you know, that there is a some a problem, a big problem occurring in the body, and now your your body, your cells are secreting, are, are releasing some auto antibodies. Auto immune diseases means that these antibodies are directed to the body itself. You know, you are, the body is being destroyed by itself by this the secretion and the release of these auto antibodies. Why? That's because, you know, that we are mistaking, we are mistaking that the normal system of the cell. We are, we are cheating with, with our cells, we are, the, we are lying to our bodies by so consuming or by eating these chemicals which may not exist in the nature. And we are changing this program inside the body and we are now uh, so mistaking the cells. So, so the cells normally are used to secrete, to release the antibodies in the case of, so um, in case of a disease. And, but uh, now the cells are secreting autoantibodies, antibodies directed to the, to the body itself. And these diseases will increase, will run up, will too much, a lot of them in the coming years. And sure, this, our time now is the time of these diseases, of the autoimmune diseases. These autoimmune diseases will increase, unfortunately, in the future, if people cannot so pay attention to these things, or at least people who have these uh, problems with these diseases may shift, the, may change the lifestyle. The, not, not the only one solution, but the main solution is first and uh, before getting any treatment to any so treating procedures, healing procedures, you should first change your lifestyle. You should change your lifestyle and to stop, you know, to stop mistaking the immune system inside your body for you can correct at least the system. It's possible, why not? But you have to change the lifestyle first. You have to shift to the healthy food, natural and homemade foods first and then go and see with your doctor, see with your health care provider that to get a, a treatment or to arrive, inshallah. See you. Salaamu Alaikum.